My name is Parker Nierenstein and this is my 2004 Lamborghini Gallardo. Thought I'd film a video about why I bought this car. So all comes back to 2004. I was 10 years old at the time. I saw pictures of this car released. It was in this color yellow with the same wheels. Absolutely fell in love with it. Fast forward to high school, actually middle school. Akon made a song, Smack That, talking about his Gallardo. Then in high school became more obsessed with it and even Freshman year of high school, I remember talking to a friend in my English class saying, my goal is to buy this car by the time I graduate college. He laughed at the time, but actually when I bought this car, uh, he messaged me on Facebook remembering the conversation and we laughed about it because it was pretty funny. About a year before I bought this, I bought this in March 2015, I started seriously looking at cars at around the $100,000 range. So obviously there's this, this was $102,800. Corvette Z06, Jaguar F-Type R, Aston Martin, Vantage GT, and several other cars in there. But those were kind of the four cars I was really looking at. This to me had the emotional aspect to it. I had always wanted it, it was my dream car, but it's 2004 technology and there's been a lot of advancements. The Z06 absolutely destroys this car. I've driven it, it handles better, it's way faster in a straight line, and funny enough, my friend recently purchased one and we've raced it, uh, and it's way faster. No doubt about that. The Jag, it's newer, it's got better technology, the transmission's a lot faster. The Aston, the interior is light years ahead of this, which has a tape deck in it. But to be honest, I've driven all of those cars, and they don't have the same emotional experience for me as this. This is so exciting to drive. Yes, the E-Gear transmission is nothing like a Porsche PDK, but it thrashes you, and it just kicks you in the ass, and that's part of what makes it such an awesome car. The V10 absolutely screams. It's got its fair share of issues, but the overall experience of owning a car like this, to me at least, at the time, uh, outweighed the benefits you'd get of buying something like a new Z06. Another thing is depreciation. These cars, I want to say three or four years ago, for a 2004, hit the bottom of their depreciation curve. They're, for a low mileage one, I bought this with 5,000 miles, they're all at around 95 to $105,000, give or take. And they've stayed that way for the last three years. And even after the Uricon came out, it's still at about that price point. So with the Gallardo, you're not really losing any money. Sure, it might cost a lot more to maintain than a new Z06 with warranty and whatnot, but the new Z06, you buy that or an F-Type, and instantly, in a couple years, you might lose 30 thousand dollars plus in value on the car so that was a big big part for me I've had absolutely no regrets I love it obviously you know it has its flaws but I've met so many cool people because of this car I mean I've gone on rallies and one thing is owning a certain car can can give you opportunities um, and I don't want to say this in the wrong way because it could seem fake, but it makes you stand out in a way and you can meet friends, genuine friends, that you wouldn't have any other way. You meet a guy on a rally that has a cool car, you bond over your mutual loving for a car, and I've met um, guys who are now some of my absolute best friends on rallies uh, that may not have happened uh, if I didn't have this car. And you can't, you can't deny it's pretty awesome looking. I don't know. Some people are saying that this is the ugliest Lamborghini ever made and it's the worst one. I totally disagree. I love this. Especially if you see it in person. It's one thing in pictures, but when this drives down the road, um, Eddie will have to drive it. That's Eddie's filming right now, so I'll let you drive it after this just so I can see it drive down the road because it's, it's a hell of a, hell of a cool sight. That's just a little history about Candace. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Look forward to seeing you next video. See you